hello guys welcome to inside inspiration academy in this video i will show you how you can install linux terminal or linux bash in windows operating system so before installing any terminal we need to turn on a feature which is default in windows that is the wsl or windows subsystem for linux you can find that feature in the control panel so type here control panel here we can find this program section from here we need to go to the turn windows features on or off now in this menu you can find windows subsystem for linux now we need to turn on this feature you can see that to turn on this feature uh, restart is required so I am going to restart my computer now so I have restarted my computer and now if I go to the Windows command prompt and type bash and press enter then you can see that it is prompting that Windows subsystem for Linux has no installed distributions now we need to install a terminal that we can use so you can install it in the Microsoft Store or you can also go to this website given here as you wish so I prefer you go to the Microsoft Store here I have already installed this version which is Ubuntu 18.04 LTS now I prefer LTS versions because these versions are serviced more than normal versions so I have installed it and now I am going to open it so here if I type Ubuntu then it will open now you can see that it is installing and it is for the first time only now it can take some time depending upon your machine so wait for a minute so after a successful installation you can see uh, that this is uh, asking your username uh, now here I want to tell you that do not use uh, capital letters in your username or it will give you errors always use small letters as username now it will ask your password now this is it and you are all set up with your Linux terminal in Windows system but now you may be wondering that how can you uh, access to all your drives like C or D or any other folder in your computer so if I run a command here you will see uh, there is no drive or folder like desktop or like that in your computer and now if you type this here you can see cnf which are nothing but uh, the partitions in your disk now if you have three partitions it will show you three of them here now I want to go to the C drive so I type now as you can see we are in this C drive now now if I uh, run this command it will show all the folders in the C drive so now here you can see 
uh, this kind of uh, folder structure where you cannot find any desktop so here's my mistake because uh, in C drive the desktop is usually inside the users folder so I need to go back here cd dot dot and then inside C I need to go to the users folder so now here if I run this command yes you can see that here I have another HP folder so if I go to that folder and run this command again here you should see the desktop folder and here it is so I want to go to the desktop here I am in the desktop now if I create a file using Linux command here it is so you can see that it is working fine and I can also run other Linux commands here like rmdir, mkdir or any other Linux commands but I want to tell you that you cannot run chmod command here or it will not work properly here there are also other commands which will not work properly in Windows system so explore these things yourself if you have any problem so feel free to ask in the comments or in the community till then goodbye and happy coding